Hello, my name is Louis Grove, and today I'm here to inform you about nuclear power plants. Um, a lot of there's a lot of confusion when it comes to nuclear power plants. A lot of people, when they drive by them and see the smokestacks, putting off a lot of um, what they think is pollution, and it fills them with bad thoughts, and it just brings a negative image. When in reality, the stuff coming from the smokestacks is just simply water vapor, and it uh, has no harm to our environment. So there's one confusion people have right there. Um, water, the water vapor plays a key uh, role in nuclear in nuclear power. It uh, plays more of a role than people probably think when they think of nuclear power. I think when people think of nuclear power, they think of like green glowing, uh, like the Simpsons, and that's not really what it is actually a really simple system. It all starts in the nuclear reactor. This is the place where the chemical reaction takes place. A chemical reaction uh, is just like fire. Fire is a chemical reaction. This is just uh, uh, produces more heat and it's called fission. Fission, for fission you need special uh, nuclear fuel and that is kept in the reactor where the fission happens. Water is ran through this fission because it produces a lot of heat, so the water collects the heat and goes is pumped to another component called a steam generator. And the steam generator is where the steam is actually generated. The water doesn't flash to steam in the reactor due to the high pressures. It takes a higher degree of temperature to turn the water to steam in the reactor so it stays liquid. But in the steam generator it flashes the steam where it can be pumped at a much higher velocity which is important in the next step of nuclear power operations. The next step is the steam is pumped to the turbine building where the turbines are and the turbines are attached to a shaft that rotates and the shaft is the same shaft that is connected to the electric generator. And the electric generator is just a, a series of magnets in a magnetic field that rotates through copper wires to produce electricity. That's how electricity is produced. The uh, electricity is then uh, transmitted to a switch yard and then it is distributed among the community. Uh, this back to the turbine building, after the steam goes through the turbines, it's at a much lower velocity and a much lower temperature due to the energy loss. And it then travels to a component called the condenser. In the condenser, the steam uh, turns back to a water vapor and cools off more than it already was. And the, uh, the steam is then, or the water vapor, pardon, is then pumped to either a cooling lake or a cooling tower, and that's where you see the water vapor come out of the huge smokestacks by the highway or whatnot. Um, so it's completely harmless. And the, uh, the nuclear industry is regulated by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. It's a federal non-for-profit non organization that uh, regulates and has strict guidelines and codes for nuclear power companies to operate by. Uh, anyone that has any radioactive material has to have certain licenses and certain certificates to uh, pr produce electricity via nuclear power. Um, so it's very safe and uh, nuclear power plants also employ radiation protection technicians, which is actually what I am going to school for, and they are there to ensure that all the radioactivity that you hear about, which is, you receive, a commercial airline pilot receives more radiation due to other, just other types of radiation than a nuclear, uh, nuclear power plant employee gets in a year, so. The uh, radiation levels are really low. You're not going to have any fish with three eyes like on The Simpsons. And it's just an overall, just a, a safe industry. They, they really emphasize safety. 
and they provide power in one of the most efficient ways, or the most efficient ways of our time, and they are a great place to have in your community, and there is no danger with them at all. That was my speech on nuclear power. I hope that I cleared any confusion you may have had, and uh, thank you for listening. Have a great day.